minor pentatonic scale has five notes that would be your one first note, your flat three, that's what makes it a minor pentatonic, your four, your five, your flat seven, which is also called dominant seven, and back to your one again, and that's the octave. In this case, the octave has f uh, five, six notes in it, right? So uh, here's my first note, uh, uh, E, right? And now my second note is going to be a, uh, the flat three, that's G, right? And then A, B, and then uh, E, and then E again. Isn't that pretty? So. So if I count those like so, flat seven, one, flat three, four, five, flat seven, one, and you can hear it just on even on that one string, it starts to sound like a bunch of songs that you already know. In this case, I'm going flat seven, one, flat three, one, flat seven. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, tons and tons and tons of them. Anyhow, if we recognize a little bit about the way that the guitar neck works uh, as a machine, uh, you'll, be, you'll be amazed, you'll be astounded at what you can produce with it. So here's a couple things to remember. Each fret on here is a half a step, right? And the pentatonic relationships are always going to be the same. So if, if that's one, the flat seven is that whole step below him, and a whole step implies two frets. There's one and there's the second fret. So flat seven, one, flat three, four, five, flat seven, and one. So while that's easy enough, you can play pentatonic notes to your heart's content on one string like that. Uh, but the very cool thing is uh, the way that the guitar is made, that means adjacent strings, most of them, almost all of them, are a fourth apart, do, re, mi, fa, right? And what that means to us, as guys who are interested in playing power chords pentatonically, is that the five note, which is the one we need for our uh, for our power chord, power chord being a one and a five, right, is on the same fret of as the uh, one note is uh, on the adjacent string. So if I wanted to play my one and my five, here's my one, there's my E, and the five for that E, F, uh, G, A, B, one, two, three, four, five, is down here. All of a sudden, we've got some rock happening here, so... Again, I'm going to use one finger and I'm going to put it on the on the, the fret that I want uh, for the one note and as I move up the neck and down the neck uh, that note will also be accompanied by my five notes so here we go flat seven first oh just open right now one second fret now I'm going to go to my flat three. Oh, that goes up to the fifth fret right now I'm going to go to my four that's on the seventh fret now I'm going to go to my five that's on the ninth fret right now I'm going to go to my flat seven again. That's on the twelfth fret because that's the same as the open string. And my one is up here on the fourteenth fret, just like it would be here on the second fret, an octave apart. And once you understand that those principles, you can do some amazing stuff. Now, typically, you wouldn't do, you wouldn't make that m movement up and down the string. I mean, you might m make it up and down the neck, but it's more likely that you'll do it in, in one uh, in one position. to a couple of positions that are adjacent. But we can understand, we can start to understand certainly by, um, by d doing all that on one string or two strings actually since we're talking about uh, power chords. Have some fun with that. Look at the associated PDF uh, sheet and uh, we'll take it from there.